We're playing Grixis Reanimator in Gladiator. Uh, I'll get to you in a second, Griffin. So again, I was thinking about what I wanted to play, and I've been so impressed with the Surveil Lands that I was like, well, uh, Reanimator and Surveil Lands seem pretty, pretty cool and good. Um, we also ended up getting two cards, Show and Tell, which might not actually be at its best in this list, uh, and Victimize, which also uh, a little, little finicky at times, but hopefully, uh, because we have so many looters and, and cheap creatures that we can get this uh, going, uh, hopefully it'll let us be able to, you know, push through. Uh, and get some big idiots in play. Uh, we have a new thrill of possibility in demand answers. I don't think you want to go to like the tormenting voices and whatnot, but I don't hate playing this. Um, should maybe play the whale. The one that has like, um, what is it? Not collect evidence. Descend eight. There's some other cards you can play. Um, yeah, just want to, I want to play some reanimator. Feels like it might be kind of cool and good. Show and tell as a magic card. I've been thinking about this a lot. This card's like not okay. Oh yeah, we could probably play uh, the one ring in here. Love the no Thoracle. I should be playing Thoracle. Yeah, turns out show and tell. Not an okay magic card. Um, should probably be playing the one ring. Usually, all the time. Another card that I don't know how I feel about. Is there a deck where the one ring can't be played in? Probably wouldn't recommend it in like mono blue tempo. But even then, you're probably fine. Um... I want to cut for this ring. The one ring is great in commander. Great in commander. Arguably too good in commander. Could cut molten collapse. It is just a nice answer, but it, you know, it's, it's such a general answer. Could cut, could cut a land. Could cut strangle. Yeah, if we're keeping molten collapse, I don't hate cutting strangle. All right, let's try this. Some stats: fifty percent of gladiator competitive tournament decks. Yeah, I'm just gonna every. <laughs> but like, even that's so few decks. Not to mention, can be the same person playing it over and over. Like that's. That's one of those stats where it sounds more impressive than it actually is. Also, one of the reasons why for formats like Gladiator, you can't use data. It doesn't work. Format's too small. Player pool is too condensed, especially at like a level where you're trying to be competitive. It just trends to player individual player bias uh, and like is just... You're going to draw more incomplete conclusions from it than than anything. But it's frustrating for player bases to acknowledge that uh, formats like Gladiator or even Canadian Highlander uh, are mostly vibe based. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. We can brainstorm into Oliphant. Yeah, vibes are pretty important for these kind of formats. Oh, I could also cut down this. I can cut down the next turn if I want. But I kind of want to find... Um, like, I kind of want to find a uh, or surveil land off this. I guess I don't need to put the surveil land yet. I don't know. Let's brainstorm. Let's see what we got. It's a lot of lands. Don't really want these two lands. Maybe I could draw the hall. 
Drawing the hall actually works. I, I think I want exactly this hall. So I get to draw the hall, play this, cut down the elf, and then we can oliphant for uh, something. Surveil land would be pretty cool and good. Oh. We elves? Are we just like actual elves? We're actual elves. That's pretty cool. This deck doesn't play any sweepers. Neither my list nor Bagalist's list were on sweepers, which is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I feel like I want the theater. I'll shock myself, keep up the Sauron's Ransom. <clears throat> Your format's too small. Your player base is too dense. They'll kill you. Yeah, you can have that. Oh. We have something to reanimate that against an elves deck might actually be good enough. Fort toughness is a bit of a bummer, but this attacks for a lot of damage. It's not the best reanimation target. This and I mean, troll is certainly a better reanimation target, but all a phantom troll can pressure people pretty quickly. Hmm. My guess is that these are like reanimation cards. Maybe they're big idiots. Cheap spells. Why would you give me a fatal push and a duress? You give me a fatal push and a duress because the duress is a whiff. So you're giving me push to just deal with the mimic. So I'm just going to take this pile. Give me a land in that. Oh, well, that's a good magic card. We're also already at dig through time mana, which is pretty sick. Um, I can play this. I can play this, find uh, the Thundering Falls. Get it popping. Kind of want to just kill this um, Metallic Mimic. Just fill up the yard. Hello. Hello. Got a scavenging ooze? Reese the Redeemed. Ooh. Reese the Redeemed. A Paradiso Beach. Mm hmm. Okay. Find a Thundering Falls. Put another card in my graveyard. Fire off a dig oh, through time. Abusing magic. One, two, no. three, four, five. Six, it's probably fine. Keep the creatures in there. <clears throat> Dr. Mr. Rogers, welcome to the stream. Thank you for subscribing. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. Good to see ya. Ooh, well, we didn't hit a reanimation card proper. We did get an Atroxa, which is a much more interesting reanimation target. Um, and we got a, we got a Darcy. We also got a Sleight of Hand. <clears throat> Uh, I think I'm taking Atroxa. Because we better triumph that. I think I take Atroxa and Darcy. I think I like that better than the Sleight of Hand. Maybe Sleight of Hand's better. So we're killing that. I think Sleight of Hand might be better. All right, I've, I'm, I'm kind of... I've edged myself to liking Sleight of Hand more. Poor choice of words. Uh, 
raucous theater. Uh, let's put a wave of babies in the graveyard. Really need to find a reanimation card at this point. That's all we're really looking for. I'll take an NT. Um, still think I want to hold up this bitter triumph. Edging for sleight of hand. Phyrexian Feldegrift, welcome back for the sixth month, the half a year. Hey, we are just completed a 10 deck can lander battle box and loving the format. Glad of it. Will this year's Ale Jacket Championship be on YouTube? It will. It'll be uh, streamed in some capacity. I mean, it'll be streamed. You can more or less expect what we did last year. Three, four, five, six, seven. Kind of need them to attack. Mm, yeah. Yeah, like a heroic intervention. Ooh. Happy to see some non-Chandler content. And I was loving, not going to lie, I was loving the Chandler. Yeah, the Chandler hasn't disappeared. It's just, you know, uh, I am doing multiple things. All right, we are desperate for a reanimation spell. Please, I'm begging you. For the love of God... A reanimation spell. I've seen so many cards. Some would argue too many cards. I'm not gonna block this. What portion of my deck has the reanimation spells? Uh, like a solid 20% I'd wager, maybe? Maybe less than that, 15% I guess? What portion of my remaining deck though? We got like what? 13 reanimation spells? Got a lot of ways to churn through our deck. Um, do I want to Odawara this? Okay. Thrill possibility with NT, pretty good. We have yet to, yet to find a thing. There's a chance we should add more reanimation guards. I mean, this is obviously just one game when this happens. But, you know, if they're activating the manor horn, that's probably okay. Arena has a solid amount of uh, reanimation spells. A reasonable amount. So they reanimate my, they exile my Atraxa and I can't, I have to bounce this call. Or I, sorry, I have to bounce the prime time. There's one good alchemy reanimation card. Assemble the parts is pretty good. Are they trying to feel out like whether or not attacking with everything is the right call? You have a spell?
Could Jun Reanimator work? Probably. I feel like all the versions of Reanimator, all the color combinations of Reanimator have got to be like relatively uh, playable, right? Like Jund, Esper, I think we are mostly three color, but Rakdos and Demir are still probably fine. But like, yeah, there's just a lot of things that you can do, right? You're picking your control pieces. And like how you get the cards in the graveyard. Abzan? I mean, maybe. Abzan hasn't really crossed my mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's the, the prototype creature. It's pretty good. This card's also pretty good for us. Like, they don't get to play this Primeval Titan. They can exile whatever. I think I'm taking four here. Because I'm probably going to go Shieldred into Fable. Curious to see what they exile. I, I feel like uh, Atroxa is the immediate threat. I could block with Ledger Shredder here. Or Inti. Maybe I've gotten them what I need out of Inti. Inti is so good. The the Shredder gives us an immediate draw. But I don't know if that matters. I could go to three and then Shieldred into Fable put myself to five. And just have a bunch of blockers. We're dead to hoof and anything. They don't have a layer of the Hydra. Yeah, I think I just take it. We are dead to... Uh, oh, that's a funny card to draw. We are dead to, um, I guess we're not dead to Shaman of the Pack. Shaman of the Pack's not great. Oh. Oh. Hello, uh, Surge and Raiders. Welcome, y'all. Thank you for the raid. I hope you're having a cool and good day. Hope you had a cool and good stream. You're in luck. We just started. I'm playing some... You're in so much pain by... Oh, okay. What did Surge do? How do you get into so much pain from playing spreadsheets? Oh, Surge actually... Wait, what? Surge had a minor operation yesterday? Eggs, eggs, oh, Tooth and Nail and Twine. Okay, eggs. we're done. Yeah, this is kind of the issue against the green deck. We didn't cap, we didn't get our threat out, so then we eggs, both have eggs, uh, some e inevitability, eggs. but uh, the big green cart says, hey, kill you immediately. That was a little unfortunate, not finding the reanimation quick enough, but. Uh, Linus Co back for the 20th month. What up? How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for all the support. Uh, Weirdo of Oz for the third year. Six to the power of three. Or is that two? I mean, it would be two because it's six times six. That's literally, that's six squared. My viewer is so small. I can barely read it. Uh, and Yalk for the 59th month. Jesus Christ. Off by one from five years. I need to figure out what we're doing for our five-year anniversary. I imagine it'll involve some amount of Shondalar. And I imagine it'll involve some amount of Canadian Highlander. The pool, if it's warm enough. I'll take that lane. Bird. We have a uh, reanimation target as well. Ban every user under five years subs. Uh, couldn't stay for the whole thing. Yesterday, cooking stream was fun to watch. Glad of it. Yeah, I, I always enjoy doing those cooking streams. Um, this isn't the... This isn't the threat that I... Like, the thing I want to kill normally in this matchup. So I think I'm just going to attack. 
Love to see more vintage. I would like to play some more vintage. Unfortunately, the viewership wasn't that great. I mean, it, it wasn't that bad, honestly. But um, this is the old... Uh, do you hit Planeswalkers too? Yeah, you do. This is kind of the issue when it comes to uh, streaming is that it's like, well, I could play Vintage. Or I could play Shondalar, which is so easy to play. Like as far as, you know, uh, getting those good vibe, good brain vibes. Oh, uh, well, we're a little locked under a brainstorm here. But we do get to reanimate something next turn, which is kind of nice. Uh, I think of this and this. Um, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's tough to stream not Canlander, Gladiator, or Shondalar. Well, you're a little annoying. Using magic. Yeah. How did Ooh. You know? I kind of stacked these uh, a little awkwardly, huh? Because now I'm taking an additional two damage without actually needing to. Hmm. Is there a world where I don't? Um, I think. Let's see. They activated this already. They play this, I get to unholy heat it, and then I get to reanimate the Carnosaur. I think I'm fine taking the two. It's not great. I should have I should have taken that into consideration while stacking. In my mind, I was like, great, I'm going to go uh, draw the Shipwreck Marsh, animate this Trumpeting Carnosaur, and get this Watery Grave off the top of my deck. And that didn't happen. So I played around doing a, I guess maybe that's fine. I played it, I stacked it in such a way that plays well to uh, the cards in my deck and my hand, but not to uh, the potential of somebody, you know, casting multiple spells. And the green deck casting multiple spells, that's a pretty good hit. Green deck casting multiple spells is pretty nice. Okay, well, got an all right board here. I didn't even need to attack them with Ledger Shredder, just wanted to. Chemic Elves, welcome back. Or sorry, Chemic Elves. Oh, I hate it when Twi uh, OBS does this. It, it gives me the like, they converted their sub from this to this. It's like, well, that's cool and good. And I'm thankful of it. But also, what what does this mean? Thank you for coming back for the second month. Glad to have you. Good to see you. I got you saying, is there a world where? in a world. Um, well, I am the captain now. I'm going to attack you with my big donkey. And I'm going to play a Liliana. And I'm going to mill some cards. What? Is this an elf? Oh my god, it's an elf. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Are you kidding? Oh! I mean, we have we have a, a proper setup here. But that is very funny to me. Alright, I am going to, before they get priority... Before anything, I'm going to do this. She's a drow, so it counts as an elf. Don't know what that means. I started playing D&D &D a month ago. Blood for Bones is kind of fun. Um, and Tainted Indulgence is just pretty good. Could also take this Hall of the Storm Giants. I 
I've got this big idiot. 17 shots, no 38. Yeah. I played in Query as Hell, but that was uh, playing in person D&D and playing over Zoom. At least learning is difficult. Although, I mean, Michelle, Michelle was great. Uh, I If I didn't play Queer as Hell, I wouldn't be playing Dice Friends. Um... I guess I should have uh, ticked up with Lily before doing anything. Ooh, a fluting. Um, I kind of like the cards I have. I mean, I could fluting now just to like gain me some additional life. Trigger this ledger shredder. Yeah, like I don't think I'm going to blood for bones. But I do like keeping uh, these cards. Also, just like, uh, they have one card in hand. I could Thoughtseize here. Just in case. Like, what do I die to? Nothing. I'm just going to discard these two. Being gays, give you more confidence in my D&D content creation. Yeah, D&D is just saying yes and uh, <laughs> a lot. And doing so uh, while, I don't know, like the whole meme of like a DM plans this big thing and then the party decides to just fuck off to somewhere else. Um is uh, not really something like in my minimal admittedly playthrough of it. It's very much like, oh, well, this would be, this is here for a reason, surely. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna, you know, play along and have fun doing so. Let's brainstorm. You and you? I think I like keeping all these lands. Now I'll kill this card. This card gets out of hand very quickly. Like, I don't know, anytime if this happens in bylaw and order, anytime something pops up and Kathleen's like, do you want to look around the room? It's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> she mentions a fridge. It's like, well, why'd you mention, why'd you mention a fridge? Or there's a plate of like cookies or, or something. And you're like, well, I mean, yeah. Um... Show me what you got. The Skim, sh Skim Far Shadow Sage is big, and it's kind of annoying to have to play around that. Um, Bowmasters can deal with Wingus and Dingus over here. But if I go... Like, I don't need to play Vohar. I think I take the Shadow Sage. I don't need to play Vohar just yet. <clears throat> oh. Well. So this is interesting. It makes my thing bigger, but then I don't get a get to kill a mana dork. I still think I likely just do this.
We can draw a card. And I'm gonna ping you. If they want to attack into my bowmasters and my army, then I'll I'll double block and they can trade for the two, three or the bowmasters themselves. <clears throat> Playing the Visionary off the top first, even though it gives you more options to what you're going to cast, kind of signals they're not going to Gallic Readers. Like, they might, might want to just leave Gildra here to build up their mana. The Cookie's Greek. <laughs> that, was, that was such a funny, like... Uh, it's always a shame when the the shithead is like they when they devolve into you know just being uh racist or throwing a slur because i have a lot of fun with the the people that show up in chat that are just like you know they're just brain dead idiots or whatever the hello fresh stream yesterday somebody comes in at the end of i mean if you haven't seen all the copy pasta you can check it out on the Discord. I'll read some of it to you here. Somebody comes in, and I don't even know what prompted it. We had just made like a recipe with like, uh, it was like a Greek themed recipe. Uh, had some tasty meatballs. Had uh, like some pork meatballs, some orzo, uh, a bunch of Mediterranean stuff. And, uh, it was very weird. They took umbrage with this immediately. They were, they were calling, they were, and I must have mentioned like, you can eat this, you can make it vegan or vegetarian. And one of them was, they were just like, um, God, where is it? Uh, they called it lib food. Uh, you're not Italian. Don't act like you are liberal. Act liberal from liberal algia. I've been to Greek. They certainly do not have beige food like that. They have olive oil equal green. Okay, dumbass. This is enough. I, though you are not even cooking, you just eating, they should make just eating section, and you would be president there, XWC. Okay, whatever, I can follow, and when you actually cook, I can help, I do have experience. They mentioned watching The Sopranos. Yeah, where is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, you're a word I'm not going to say. Okay, whatever. See ya. It has nothing to do with Sopranos, by the way. It's completely different person. Oh, no, <laughs> because they, they said they know Italian. They have uh, watched The Sopranos. What does this Titan of Industry do? Kiefer asked me not to read his messages out loud. I feel like I got to get this Titan in here. I'm sorry, honey, but it's just too good. They, yes, that's important. They had a Stewie Griffin profile picture. Um, I don't know. What do I want to put it on? Putting it on this... Put it on the Bowmasters. I feel like we might be in trouble, though. Yeah, it was wild. They asked me if I knew who Adam Ragusea was. And I said, uh, like, no, I don't associate with Italians. Or something to that effect. Oh, shit. That was your last card in hand? Come on. Come on. It was very good. It was very good. They, they, yeah. The Stewie profile picture. It was so funny. And to have to deal with one of them while not, oh, come on. Please. All right, well, now I wish I had a wrath effect. I need to find something to kill this Faconia then, I guess.
Sarah's emissary would also be pretty good. Mm, I think I discard that. Feel like we would do pretty well against Sarah's emissary and friends. Um. I think I need to start attacking. It can block in such a way that it kills Primeval Titan if they attack with it. <clears throat> yeah, show and tell not at its best right now. I mean, who knows? We might draw something that we can show and tell in, and it will save us a bunch of mana. <laughs> could just play that new Wrath. It was so I I I really enjoyed when that happens. It's fun. Cuz these people are always just the stupidest motherfuckers you've ever seen. Like it is it is genuinely impressive just how stupid these people are. Um and you get to have some fun with that. You know, you get to, you get to have some fun with that. What is gladiator? hundred card singleton one V one. Uh, no sideboards. Oh, what's the other command? GMTGA. There you go. Yeah. It's like Canadian Highlander on, on arena. You just, you know, Please, I'm begging you to brick once. What for bones? Pretty good. They have one mana available with the leaf gilder. They don't actually have anything to... I mean, I could Vohar into it. I feel like this deck is a little low. Oh, they have the two treasures, right? These are treasure tokens. Uh, I feel like this deck is a little low on the reanimation side. <clears throat> oh, that's a good magic card. We can get their crater hoof. What if I show and tell this into play? So I can play this Atali for retail, and we just then we're just gonna die. I could show and tell in this Atali, and then we have the option of playing Blood for Bones after if we get a kill spell for Vaconia. I kinda like that. If they if they put in a big idiot then we're already dead, like, because we're not killing them this turn. If they have a big idiot, I was dying on the next turn. So this will be pretty funny if we can get this going. They put in a Rex Sage. Yeah, blow up that ring. All right, Atali. Tribute to the World Tree. And in burial rites with no targets. Very good. Really, really powerful. Really powerful card here. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. All right, we need to. Great, great, great job, Vitaly. We need to. Uh... We need to add uh, some more reanimation cards. I don't even know if we need more. Like, a, we probably should have a sweeper, but we need, like, I, I was struggling to get anything even in play. And I also don't know how much I like uh, this Titan of Industry. There's the, um, 
Yeah, the four mana draw two cards. I, I like that one. What is it called? Explosion? Ill-timed? Ill-timed explosion or something? Ill. Meat hook is always good. Right. Do I just not own this card? But I, I think if we can somehow sneak one of these in here that fits the theme, that would be pretty hot. Uh, so we got an ill-timed explosion. I want... Excuse me. A reanimation target that's a sweeper. Oh, so like a... Uh, I mean, we could play Elish Norn. There are certain decks that just can't beat Elish Norn. Um, which I think I like a little bit better. This Galta... Yeah, we can Masker Worm. I don't think Masker Worm... It, Masker Worm kind of fits a nice middle ground. <laughs> like. But Elish Norn against like the white aggressive decks, they're just not, they're just not winning. Right. Or the, or the green decks itself. You can maybe, uh, yeah, maybe I do play Elish Norn. Elish Norn's actually not that bad considering we also have these cheaper creatures, right? Like that can that can kill people. Uh I wanted the whatchamacallit. Uh what what the hell is it called? Uh Fortel Fortel? Fortel. I want the Fortel reanimation card too. Jesus Christ. Caldheim is like a, a giant void in my brain. I feel like I was the only person that didn't like Kaldheim. But I found the limited to be boring, and I found that they didn't reinforce the themes as much as I would have liked. It felt a little half baked at times. Um what is the what is it called? It's got elves on it. They're like, oh. There it is. Return from the tide. Um. And then I kind of want another big idiot. Another big idiot. Could be Agent of Treachery. It's just Mr. Steel, your girl. Um, I always liked Sphinx. Or like a Jenga Taxius. It's just like a high roll kind of card to reanimate. Could have Shieldred. Hawksrail is also kind of fun. Um, it's so wild the like gap between the best reanimation cards and then the ones below it. Because at the top, you just have Gristlebrand and Atroxa uh, and Sarah's Emissary. And then beyond that, you're like, uh, 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 Daragaz? Omni with a new collect thing? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think that there is a version of Show and Tell Reanimator that is more dedicated to, to doing that. I don't know if I want to do it right here, right now. I feel like you play did I think I crafted that card. Where did where did it go? I didn't I pay actual dollars for this card or did I not because I didn't end up including it. Eh, whatever. Um do it do I just put Jenga taxis? Agent of Treachery is kind of messed up. I do like crab. I think it's probably Jin, right? It's probably just Jenga Taxis or Shieldred. Let's put Shieldred. Let's play Shieldred. Or, oh, or we could play Nezahal. But I think Nezahal has gotten a little worse. Shifty Doppelganger? No idea. It's a bunch of bullshit text. It's four mana uh, card from Stronghold in blue that effectively just makes it a clone of something. But the specifics... 
The specifics for those clones are always tough. It's yeah, it's got a weird elephant kind of trunk. It looks like Cubert. Uh, what am I? What am I cutting? I mean, we're probably cutting. We didn't draw Theon Invokers. It is a loot, but it's expensive. Even though it gives you Lightning Bolt. Um. Um. What am I cutting? Inti felt a little loose. What if we cut Duress and IOK and just play Thoughtseize? I kind of like that. Let's do that. Hubert and Dumbo fused? They'd make me. All right, Wormy. Let's fight. Wait, where did it go? Did I add a card I don't own? Wait, what? Oh, right, the ill-timed explosion. <laughs> it's like, what? What? Uh, interior explosion back for the 46th month. Thank you for thanking me. I'm thankful to be thanked. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. How you doing? How you been? Chat, help me figure out what commander I'm playing tonight. I got two hours to figure out this commander. Oh, this doesn't look like it's good. This looks like it's bad, but I'm going to keep it. Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, well, now we're just dead. I want that island. Maybe I leave it because my opponent's going to take it. Do I want them to brick more than a random card? I guess a random card's not that bad. Angus McKenzie Turbo Fog. I could bring Rogavon Mono 1 Drops. Mirko the Clash Octopus. I don't have the Clash Octopus made. Like, I own the Clash Octopus, but I don't have a... Uh... Holy shit. <laughs> oh, Mirko is not the Octopus? Oh, well then, that's a different issue. Because then I just don't have an interest in building the deck if I'm not playing the Octopus. All right. <laughs> my my plan there was to is a charm and pitch uh, some cards to hit a land, and then drawing the Galt, I was like, oh, we can we might be able to do that. Well, Ragavan on the play takes another victim. <laughs> yes. Mm. Orocs. Oh, I could bust out Octavia. It's been a while since I played Octavia. Eggs, eggs, e double G S eggs. Yeah, playing a deck that I already have a list for would also be pretty nice. Vohar. Mikhail Alv, welcome back for the 13th month. Holy smokes. The Baker's Year. Glad to have you and good to see you. Thank you so much for all the support. Brainstorm. Ooh. Um. Fatal Push is pretty nice. So I could put Shieldred and Elishnorn. Fatal Push this. 
loot away the Elishnorn. I think I want to Fatal Push their Mana Acceleration. Am I casting next turn? If I'm casting Shieldred, then we do this. Naya Rocco? Naya Rocco. Oh, the... the um... Wait, aren't they both Naya Roccos? Aren't both Roccos Naya? Why is my deck page? I've been to Greek. Ooh. I've been to Greek. It's my favorite Canadian. Oh, jeez. Uh, long time Lur and YouTube watcher. First time I'm watching the stream. Well, glad to have you. Good to see you. Thank you for the kind words. I hope I don't disappoint. Uh, well, that's a pretty good card if we hit a land. That's a pretty good card if we hit a land. <laughs> Bond of Revival. Yoink. <laughs> Yoink. Ooh, blue white. I've been to Greek. A Faro list. I do have a. I, I talked about it on one episode of Achievement Wheeler, Love Magic. I don't know if it's actually out. Uh, which, by the way, did you know that today is the one year anniversary of Achievement Wheeler, Love Magic? I think I keep this against Wormy's deck. We draw, we got a way to find our blue source. We got a bunch of ways to kill stuff. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this. Gets away with it, somebody stop me. You can't stop me. And even if you could, would you really want to, Ben? I have this Karametra deck that I could play. The God of the Harvest, where it's Karametra, uh, Le it's it's another Ameria deck. <laughs> Only green creatures. All white lands. And you just Ameria out big green idiots. Blood Moon. <laughs> oh yeah. It's pretty good against our deck. Joke's on you. I've got game. Well, I made the mistake of playing a three color deck. Uh, Caramel Bear, welcome back for the 94th month. How you doing? How you been? Thank you so much for all the support. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Not on my watch. I'm going to discard this card that I can't cast for two reasons. Oh, yeah. Well, I could cycle this, actually. Hold on. We could find an island. Got our basic mountain in play. Nice. Oh, yeah. That's... Ruby's pretty good. Invasion's pretty good. <laughs> Thankfully, we have a way to deal with Ruby. Caramel Bear. Ooh, ooh, wow, wow. Uh, Turt's wake back for the 44th month. How's it going? 44 months, four or four months, does this make me playable? As long as you have haste, vigilance, death touch. I told you, I'm not the villain here. <laughs> All right, both teams played hard. Both teams played hard. GGWP, both teams played hard. 
Oh, I got a pack? Finally, it'll wash away all my feel bads. I don't... Oh, it's the, the mythic that doesn't do anything for anyone. All right, HD, please fight me. There's a chance that... I know I just got blood mooned into the dirt. This format, huh? Yeah, well... I'd say there are a lot of changes that need to be made to it. Don't know... How quickly they're coming. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, one team played hardly. I personally think that every magic... Isn't it wild that, like, standard is the, like, best format? Like, the most reasonable format? I guess uh, Legacy is pretty good right now. Um. Well, I can show and tell this to Troxus. I'm going to keep this. Children exists? Yeah. There's always cube. I mean, maybe cube is actually the best one. Yeah, find me a land. Uh, it's not a red land, but I'll keep it. Shondalar has a format. I mean, Shondalar is always the best format to play. Why do anything when you could do Shondalar? <laughs> yeah, cubes the easiest to ban cards out of. I mean, they quite literally did it with the initiative. They're like, well, this kind of sucks. <laughs> so let's not do it. I'm a little scared about some of the larger cards they could have in their hand, but uh, also, here's hoping this works. Okay. That was pre-modern. Well, that's a good card to just have in your hand. Um, I think I want Tainted Pact. That's it? Oh, that was a hell of a brick. Uh, I mean, I'll take a red land. <laughs> That's it? Holy smokes. Well, if we can keep our attracts alive, I still think we're fine. Like, we can race this troll, especially with the one ring. Big, big skill issue. Yeah, hi, Mulder. I do think that if you are making changes to a format like Gladiator to really just, like, make it a great format for Arena, like an Arena queue or, like, a... What the hell is wrong with my camera? Like, for an Arena queue or a, uh... You know, like a recurring Arena event or, or whatever. Um that I think I would probably ban an additional five cards. Why are you attacking with both of these? Do you have a Molten Impact? I think you probably do. But if you have a Molten Impact, or do you have a Burn Spell and you want to do something with this, why do you attack with this and not with this? That's what threw me off. So I could find, I could taint a pack for something to kill this troll as well. Or I could just do this. I can name names. Oh, well, I, I think if you banned uh, Bass's Oracle, Blood Moon, Show and Tell. Those are the three big ones right now. But, like, you could make arguments to ban some of the other cards. But there, some of the, the cards beyond those first three are difficult cards to... Uh, and the One Ring, excuse me. But then beyond that, it's tough to talk about the cards that you ban. Um, because... You get into this big conversation 
about like what a band card looks like and uh, frankly I'm I'm too old for this shit. I'm just going to do this. A check for four color decks. I mean maybe this is a thing. Maybe I'm just too fucking tired in general. <laughs> Because I do feel like, not that that's a bad question to, to ask. It's a good question to ask. But it is a conversation that I've been having with people in across multiple formats for a long time. And I really don't understand why the idea of Blood Moon being like something that's healthy is, is so pervasive. Why Thoracle over Pact? Pact offers kind of an interesting deck building discussion. Um... I'd sorry, I'll I'll get to the the uh, my red trinket. My my main point with that is that uh, I don't think Blood Moon is a check. I think Blood Moon is a card that leads to more non games than anything, and is just not particularly enjoyable. It's not it's not that like there there are payoffs to playing monocolored and two color decks in the format already. It's not as though we get to free roll these four color and five color decks, right? Your lands come into play tapped a lot of the time, or they deal you a shitload of damage. Like, that's real. We don't have OG duels, right? Um, It just stops magic from being played, and I think that that is not great, nor is it, like, reasonable for... Like, it, it just leads to non-games and, like, deck-building decisions that aren't enjoyable for, well, anybody, frankly. Ragavan and my Crucius. Oh, that's a good card to hit. Um, and then Pact over Thoracle is because I think Pact is at least a little more interesting. There are decisions being made uh, in deck construction and in um, like... Uh, there, there are decisions made in deck construction. There are decisions made... Um, for beyond your mana base as well. Um, yeah, that, that is the biggest knock to Pact is that it's miserable to resolve on Arena. And if the decisions end up being just really easy to, to answer, to be like, oh, well, of course I'm doing this, then Pact is just the better card to get rid of. Um, I think also for user like for for making it uh more user friendly than you ban pact as a magic card i think pact is not the one to ban here but realistically uh i think it's an all right one to ban you know it's so apples and or, or not apples and oranges it's so like negligible at the end of the day it's one of those things that seems like it's a lot bigger of a conversation to have but no, it's just fine. Just ban the card. People get really cagey about banning cards and really uh, awkward when it comes to, like, cards getting banned, discussing banned cards, which is odd for an arena format to me. Mm, I think I want to... I could channel this. I think I just want to play you. Uh, ben, to answer your question, which deck should you bring? Mardu Initiative. I mean, you liked playing Mardu Initiative. It's a really good deck. Um, it's fun to play. Bunch of weirdo lines. Bunch of weirdo cards. Yeah, it, it would be more cut and dry about which card that you banned for Thoracle. Uh, if the gameplay didn't, if the gameplay and if the uh, like actual dexterous part of it uh, didn't suck, you know? This is indeed a new Shondalar update. 
Any sp spice since Ixalan? Uh, trying to think. If they have another removal spell, it's a little annoying. But if I, I'll take a, a trade here, my four mana for their two mana. Oh, unearth. I mean, that's not great, but not the worst. Didn't fluting into anything big. I don't want to show and tell out a troll. I mean, we could. Show and tell into troll does kill them pretty quickly. Yeah, Molten Collapse is pretty good. You got a land? Oh, a Boromir. Okay. I don't know what this deck is. Is it like four color? I think it's four color blood. Hmm. Sick. Make a 1-1. One, one. Ooh, elephant. <laughs> yeah, like I've said before, the conversations about card banning cards in Gladiator and how to treat Gladiator, uh, you have two camps. You have a camp of players that play in like every tournament and that's that's what they do they like playing in the tournaments uh they you know every week and they they try to see it as a competitive format uh and then they tend to draw a lot of uh information and ooh oh, that's not bad right I mean, hold on. I could get a Snapcaster Mage here. Am I just going to assemble the parts Snapcaster Mage? Assemble the parts on the Emrakul is kind of nice, too. Mm. I can assemble the parts Snapcaster and then Lightning Axe, but that doesn't seem great. Uh, I can assemble the parts... On Emrakul. If I assemble the parts on Snapcaster. Like, I want to be able to cast this this turn. I assume. I think I assemble the parts Emrakul. Just making a 4 4 flyer is pretty hot. They can sack the Boromir to tempt the ring on someone to be able to crunch in. That's a pretty good draw. No, this one doesn't have Annihilator. Um, let's do this so I can draw a card. Flash this back. Yeah, there's the camp that uh, look at it as the oh shit! I don't. I tapped all my red. I thought this was the Xander's Lounge. The Xander Lounge is in my hand. Uh oh. Um, am I dead now? Hold on. Block, sack, block, block. No, we're not dead, but it's not looking great. What's this reanimation spell even do for me? Nothing right now. 
I'm going to have to play a land. I think I'm playing these two, and then I'm going to try to high roll them next turn. Great. Amy, thank you for the raid. Welcome, folks. Glad to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? How you been? I hope you had a good stream. Uh, we're playing Gladiator right now. We're talking Gladiator as well. Talking ban list stuff. No changes to be done. Nothing we're talking about is permanent. But, you know. Talking about bans and changes to formats like Gladiator. Uh, where the majority of the player base... In fact, some would argue the entirety of the player base uh, is participating in a casual format. I know that that's a big old buzzword that people hate. If they have a burn spell, we're just dead. Uh, that also constitutes a burn spell. Well, that was kind of rough. Game three. Game three. They banned opt. Ah, uh, the opt ban. <laughs> Tail as old as time. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty good. Eggs. I think I Eggs. want to Eagle lead with the eggs. drowned catacombs, even though the storm car like catacombs. Uh, lets me push on one if I really need to. I think I'm just going to do this for the black red surveil land. Uh, Sandy's Bane back for the 34th month. Howdy, me and a friend are getting into Canlander, and I was wondering if there was a list of the wide variety of archetypes to try that are very Canlanded. Thank you. There's not like an actual archetype rundown list because there's just so many things that you can do. Um, but if you want a. I, I can do better. If you want a like glimpse into that you could look at the uh mox fields of I, I mean my you could look at my own mox field you could also just look at uh go to the canlander discord you can find it through the website there will be um a huge collection of uh sample deck lists tournament results stuff that you can kind of peruse through and pick up the idea of like oh hey just guy is pretty good Croxa. Ooh. Would sideboards help the format? Sideboards would always help the format. Sideboards would be a great addition for the format. Uh, well, I want to discard this Atraxa. I don't think I'm actually going to Ledger Shredder anytime soon. Let's open a draw land. Uh, let's Fatal Push this, and then I'm probably using Cut Down on this Pig. Sideboards are great, but there's also players like these formats because there are no sideboards. That is an appealing thing. It that's the like Canlander or not Canlander. That's the um uh commander kind of casual appeal of being able to show up with your deck and just play it. Um well, I want to kill this card. Bone Shards is a little awkward to use against this, though. Because I have to just get rid of so much stuff. Maybe that's fine. Like, I feel like we are taking a slightly different approach this game. We are just going to try and mid-range our opponent out. I think I discard this, and then I could either discard the Shieldred or I could discard this Kaido. I think I want to discard Kaido. Shieldred is just so gross. I can play Kaido this turn. Maybe I discard the Shieldred. I can reanimate the Shieldred. Shieldred's a totally reasonable card to reanimate. This is not a real magic card. I think I'm going to need the Rona. I'm going to need to push my board. Oh, I could have done this. No, I guess uh, we get to draw a card. 
and this because we attacked, and then we can Rona. Um, do I need to Rona now? They could have Bowmasters. Yeah, I don't know. I think this line of uh, play here builds the most to the board, makes it extremely scary. Also, like if we draw a reanimation spell, bring back Shieldred, bring back the troll. <clears throat> I think when people think about sideboards and 100 card singleton, they also, like their brains immediately just go to like chill, choke, uh, these like hammers of ma like these these absolute sledgehammer kind of magic cards, um, and uh, frankly, I don't think that is the use case. What the heck? What the heck? Do I want to kill the Tyvar? Do I want to trade this goblin for the Tyvar? No, I don't think I care about this card. I mean, they're going to Croxa me. So maybe I should care just a little bit. I'll just do this to get a treasure. Yeah, people, their mind goes towards, like, very narrow pieces, and then in actuality, that's just not what you should be doing. I bring back Crocs. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I could do this now. Again, Bowmasters. Graveyard Trespasser, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, they're taking out Kaido, huh? Or they just want to take out Kaido across a couple of turns? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it ends up not, you're not actually playing chokes. You're playing cards that reinforce your game plan that give you an added little pinch uh, for specific strategies that you might not want to dedicate main deck cards to. Or you're playing flexible options, right? So you're playing the like, in like a Death and Taxes style deck, like you're adding other kind of like hate bears that might have some you know, niche abilities, uh, or you are playing, um, God, the Crocs really kind of goozles us. Uh, I mean, let's do this. Guess I should have run it first before doing that. Maybe I Kaito before doing that too. We're not going to hit the re the lands for the reanimation spell, anyways. Um, I think I want to loot instead of just drawing. Casting this bond of revival. Am I casting this bond of revival? Yeah, that was sloppy. Because we could bond... I mean, bond of revival on this troll isn't... I don't think that's my game plan. I mean, it could be. We're at 16. I still... I think I like this plan. Should have thought it through. Can't really have a discussion about sideboards or banning uh, while playing this game. There's too much to cover. Damn, we're trading? Okay. Mm. I think I'm 
still doing this. I mean, now I kind of want to get the troll into play. Ooh. Uh, do I want to keep Bowmasters? I'm discarding it to Croxa anyways. Potentially. Uh, four cards in hand. Get the mill to get that back. Troll checks Croxa, but Shieldred also checks Croxa. Yeah, let's do this. They want that pig? Okay. Ah, I see. What does this do? Damages, whenever it starts damage, I exile a card of your hand at random. That doesn't do anything for me. Pigs. All right, well, let's try to find something. Oh, that's a something. Um, Shieldred. All right. One time, don't have another removal spell. I think I have to take six here. Gotta level with you, Chad. This deck feels bad. It feels like I'm trying to... Whoa. Feels like I'm trying to do too many things when, like, I can just accomplish this by just playing my cards. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe this deck should actually just be kind of like the Rakdos, because there was the Rakdos build, right? The Rakdos Rihanna mid range kind of deck. It's closer to that. You could make a Grixis version of this. But yeah, this deck feels like it kind of honks. Like, the answers available are just kind of donking my threats. Right? Hmm. Uh, GG's HD. Barrington Stab back for the 15th month. Hello. How you doing? How you been? Thank you for the support. Glad to have you. Good to see you. Um, I'll give it another go. I mean, we can keep we can keep playing this. Get a more get more of a vibe for it. But yeah, it definitely feels. So it feels like I either should be using the reanimation cards as my top end. And like just have a couple of them doing more uh, low curve Grixis stuff. Or it feels like we should maybe be very like aggressively trying to um, reanimate and not be in Grixis. Like, I mean, maybe we could be in Grixis, but like, oh. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I'll keep. <laughs> Esper. I was thinking Mardu. Never didn't have it. Basic Swamp Pass. I don't really want a Fatal Push. Like, Mardu sounds kind of hot. Because then you're just like this board control kind of deck. Or maybe we're too finicky. Like, maybe these two drops is not the way that we get cards in our graveyard. You know? Uh, I'll just get a basic swan. Do 
Do I want Ledger Shredder? Do I want to get the Stowaway going? I could also get Malcolm going. I think I'm just going to get Malcolm going. Uh, it's Gladiator. One-on-one, singleton, no commanders, sideboards, uh, and then the only companions are the ones you make in your deck. Friends you make along the way. Uh, so, yeah. 1v1, try to kill your opponent. I'm playing a Grixis reanimator deck. It's not going well. <laughs> well, now I want the Fatal Push. Are we getting Jundid? Hmm. Well, do I want to take a hit or do I want to develop something else to the board here? This Ledger Shredder can't block that. I could just Molten Collapse the, the Goyf here. I think that's fine. So we can still bolt this next turn. Or Bone Charts it if we absolutely have to. What the hell is this? Oh, are you on Dredge? Oh, they might be on Dredge. I didn't even see the Willow Geist. Okay, it all makes sense now. Oof, okay. Um, well, if that's the case, then I'm gonna play a Ledger Shredder and then Bolt the Stalker. Keep this Bone Shards for something a little bigger. And I don't think I need a Stowaway here. Or I could Bone Shards this to keep Malcolm going. I should play Dredge again. That deck was a lot of fun, and it was a lot better than you'd think. <laughs> like... Ooh. Um... We could dig through time. Kind of want to land cycle, find a watery grave, or I guess the uh, black blue surveil land. Surveil whatever into the graveyard and then fire off a dig through time and look to get a reanimation spell for the shieldred. I'll just pass. What am I, what, what commander am I playing? Don't really want to play Hama Pashar. Hmm. Could play Jessica and Kamal. Could play the dog and the horse. Could play Dung Joe. I do like Dung Joe. I don't think I want to keep that push. Uh, well, there's a reanimation spell. And a swamp to cast our card. So I'm going to do that. Also, they have swamps. Swamp Walk is online. Vroom. So in this case, it's pretty bad to give them a free sack outlet. But you know what? That card, that card's kind of annoying. Because we can actually just like push for a lot of damage this next turn. Or just block and get it back. You want to kill my children? Okay. That's fine. Cast another spell. Do it. Do it. I could play my Miri Cat Warrior French Vanilla deck. Oh yeah, maybe I should do this. Do we get any other French Vanilla creatures? Um, That one's a pretty good one. Am I going to Ill-Timed Explosion here? I feel like I'm going to Ill-Timed Explosion. 
want to keep the bone shards. Slicer kicked is kind of scary. They can get Bond of Revival, which can then get back like a. Do you got a, a big thing? You got you got your goifs. They could also just get a Shelly. Wow, this deck sucks. I think I'm going to play it. Oh. oh. I discarded the wrong land. Whoops. Um. Oh, they only got back the Goyf. Oh, right, because they bone shards into this. I don't know why I thought they kicked. Um. So I kind of want an ill-timed explosion here. I'm going to cast ill-timed explosion. That's exactly the kind of cards that I wanted to discard. So I discard these two and it deals three to the board. The card's not bad. I'm into it. The next turn we get to trumpeting Carnosaur. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm building this really bad green deck. <laughs> Made up my mind. That's my impression of most people in magic. I'm gonna pour myself some tea. Oh, they're casting a spell against me. They got they get they can get my little bird. Alright. This deck has some pretty cool cards in it. Uh we have Ambush Viper. <laughs> The first card up is Ambush Viper. Uh, and then Anaconda. My Anaconda don't. My Anaconda don't. And Ayumi. Oh, that's big. That is big. That is big. I have to kill this instead of playing the Carnosaur. Or I could play Carnosaur and then discover and put something into my hand. Yeah, maybe actually I can do both of these. Carnosaur. Uh, or I could cast it and then just kill it, which is what I think I'm going to do. Actually, this thing doesn't have trample. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm coming out and saying this. Uh, I think this deck sucks. <laughs> <laughs> or at the very least, my version of this deck stinks. 1920? What? Holy shit. They made a creature that was from 19 dickety. <laughs> yeah, why am I not playing Dredge? This just makes me want to play Dredge. Oh, that's rude. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm off it. It's okay. If I spend this entire day just losing, that's fine. That's that's whatever. Ah, oh, my bull hippo. Cat Warriors. Get to play Child of Gaia. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. If I have an onion on my belt. Oh. The Great Depression. Yeah, they play the 1920s and I go through a Great Depression. Which Miri? Miri Cat Warrior. Did you know that Miri Cat Warrior counts as a Cat Warrior?
Of course, this deck gets to play Colossal Dreadmaw. Willow Geist. This feels bad. But they did Mulligan. Also, this card's just like not... Uh, I'm not spending resources to clear this. Ooh. Victimize, huh? Um, well... I'm going to keep Victimize because I'm going to start making treasures. I just have to do it when they don't have mana. Dryad Sophisticate. Elite Cat Warrior. Counts as a Cat Warrior. Ooh, Fang of Shigeki. I want to discard this card. I want to find a cheaper spell. Oh. Okay. Glissa's Courier. Heartwood Tree Folk. Eggs, eggs, I'm telling you, this deck might be the worst thing you've ever heard. <laughs> Jukai Messenger. The one mana, one one forest walk. Stalactite Stalker. Ooh, well, Blood for Bones on Crucius is a little more appealing than Victimize. I think. Because then I sack. Well, actually, I should just Victimize. They're tapped out. Shieldred back at it again. Ooh. Kodama of the North Tree? Card might actually just be the real commander of this deck. Um, you're the active player, so your ability goes on the stack first. And so I'm going to get you to sacrifice something. Get back, Crucius. There we go. Blue mana. Or I could just Ragavan them here. I kind of just want to keep my cards. Yeah. Oh, good. Another Delve card. They could, like, have a sick blow where they cycle something. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Lady Jurong. Jurong. Five mana, four, three horsemanship. Nice. Whale of the Forgotten. Yeah. Yeah. I got to give this deck credit. I mean, not... I, I would have given this cre deck credit anyways. Uh, the Dredge deck, that is. Um, I, you know, we were talking about Whale in preview season and saying, like, ah, I don't know how often you're going to get this, like, actually fully descended. And then this deck just does it every time. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Oh... My wife. Mm. Oh, we could blood for bones or wife back. We 
return Shieldred to play. Uh, I'm going to return Crucius and just cast Crucius again. Greater. That's a pretty good card. Marsh Boa, Meyer Boa. Moss Viper? Is that another one mana one one death touch? Yes it is. <sighs> Pale Bears and Pygmy Allosaurus. River Bear. There's a lot of land walkers. This deck could also you could interchange Miri and Ayumi as your commander. Uh, if you want to be like, it's actually land walk dock deck. Ooh, gotta get that river bow in there. The Rushwood Dryad. Ooh, a Shannadin Dryads. Chandelar All-Star, Shannadin Dryads. There's a Sedge Scorpion. Uh, yeah. Ooh, my Shannon and Dryads. This sh this beta Shannon and Dryads has been in the same inner sleeve for like, I don't know, 15 years. Um, what deck am I building? My French Vanilla Commander. <laughs> It's a Miri Cat Warrior deck. Every creature is just like a mid rangey <laughs> mono green, mono green French vanilla creature. <laughs> oh, oh it smells like, it smells like nymph. Uh, what am I getting? Black, blue. Needs to aerate it a bit. Warm it up. Aerate it. Warm it up. Uh, I probably don't. Eh, well, I'm going to resolve this Tainted Indulgence, but I think I would like to maybe have some more light. It smells like... God, I, you know it smells nymph in there. Shanadin Dryads, Sedge Scorpion, Silvos Rogue Elemental. This isn't, uh, my head cannon is that regenerate counts as, uh, creatures with regenerate are, um, they count as French vanilla. Where's my Silvos Rogue Elemental? There it is. And a somber wall dryad. And a partridge in a pear tree. Old Rudiger. All right. I mean, I guess I should see what you... What's your mill? Painted Indulgence. Where the hell is my Somberwald Dryad? My two mana, two, two forest walk? Ooh, none of these cards are good. Um, I think I'm discarding a land. Odawara is probably the one to cut. Crucius. Uh, I would like to discard an Umburial Rites and find a more expensive card. <laughs> She's back. My gaming rage back for the full year. Apologies on the delay. Oh, what? been a hot minute since I've looked at this card. Holy. Uh, thank you for the support. Glad to have you. Good to see you. How you doing? How you been? All right. Here we go. Thundering Falls. And we mill. I was going to say a bad creature, but that was a good creature. That's a good card. 
I think I just do this. Silvus has two abilities. Yeah, it just it doesn't matter how many it has. It has trample and then regenerate. I I and I think I think that a lot of magic players, uh, at least the ones that played with regenerate, also kind of see it as like regenerate and then cost, right? At the very least, that's how I see it. And it's my deck, so I can do whatever I want. Would Carnage Siren count as French Villain? No, because it has can't be countered. And Child of Gaia, yeah. It has a, it has keywords or keyword abilities on it. That's the pass. The Shouldred doesn't look very good into their deck right now. Uh, to their board, is what I mean. This is where grabbing an Elish Norn might be pretty exciting. Uh, I think I'm going to Brainstorm. I'm going to use my mana a little efficiently here. Well, I want to play a land. I like the idea of keeping Cut Down available. I kind of want to cut down Rutstein instead of Woe Strider. Let's do this. All that, I think I'm discarding Snapcaster Mage. And then I'm going to Unburial Rites back Shouldred. Wait, what? Oh, I fucked up! Oh my god, I need to run back. I need to run back. I need to run back. I fucked up. <laughs> right. This is my discard. Oh my god. Fuck. Fuck. No. I need a run back. I discarded. Wrong card. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no. No. God. Oh. Oh my god. I I I've I've overbooked myself. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. This is what happens when all I play is Shondalar and then <laughs> and then I then I'm just like, yeah, alright, I, I guess I gotta play real magic again. Oh, I had it to lose it? Oh, yeah. I had enough to lose. It's being washed up that becomes... Uh, there, there's more of a conversation there. Can you be washed up if you uh, were never good in the first place? You know? Roll ascetic. Ooh, yeah. Uh, it's a little slow, but we have a removal spell on two into Fable. Like that. I like that. All the removal spells in this matchup. Who? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I'll take another land. Oh yeah, this deck gets to play Vorapede. Who here loves Vorapede? Wait, do I still have this? I do. There we go. <laughs> hey, kids, who loves Vorapede? Oh, 
Oh. Ooh. I could cut down here. This I'm worried about this card getting out of hand. I could EI into cut down. Potentially. I think I gotta keep this card off the board. Go to EI here. This into my hand. This into the library. This into exile. Is Apex Devastator French Vanilla? Sure. I think that counts. Strangle, Strangle Root Geist, yeah. What are some other French vanilla creatures that have come out in the past couple, in the past year, I guess. Jesus, has, the last time I updated this deck was a year ago? That can't be. I remember the night when I did this. I mean, I can remember a night from a year ago, but you know. Oh. Yeah, this card's kind of impossible for us to do anything about. At least do our, our main game plan. Now we're on uh, Cast Atali, which is not that bad of a game plan, mind you. Axbane Ferox. Ooh, did I pick up a card? Did I pick up an Axbane Ferox? I remember there one being one at the office, and I was like, no, I'm good. I think this card is just not, like, playable. Um, But then I kind of want one for cube. I don't have an Axbane. No. <laughs> well, that's a good way of getting around this. They played, whoa, they played Vraska and they didn't take it out? Do I want to discard cards? Uh, I actually really like my hand, so I'm going to say no. I think actually getting this Liliana in play is likely better for us. Attack you. Colossal Dactyl. That's one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a sick pickup. That's a sick pickup. That card's actually good. What the hell? Uh, Jewel Thief is not French Vanilla because it makes a thing. You got it. All right, just don't exile good shit. Uh, wild ox. Pass me the wild ox cord. Wild ox. Willow dryad. Wall of wood. Huh? What's that? Oh, I see. The Wrestler Willow. Zodiac Horse. Zodiac Monkey. Zodiac Rabbit. Zodiac Rooster. Zodiac Tiger, of course. Oh, and I should get Miri Cat Warrior. She does count as a Cat Warrior. Did you know that, chat? Miri Cat Warrior counts as a Cat Warrior? It's incredible. Um. Well, I could just show and tell here. I feel like I want to show and tell. Go to show and tell. Let's put this attracts into play. Oh, yeah. They're killing my chups? Well, that means I could just reanimate it with uh, Liliana. Ooh, creature, instant, land, sorcery. That's what I want. Wait, does the ill-timed explosion... Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I should have read ill-timed explosion. Does ill-timed explosion hit planeswalkers too? Because 
Because if it does, that's pretty cool. I don't think it does. I remember just looking at so many cards from that set and being like, why doesn't this hit Planeswalkers? Is it because they're like slowly fading them out? Wow, another dog shit a, a dog shit attracts us. Uh, I'm going to Bone Shards. Guess I'll take the Samurai Cool. I think I'm good to pass. <clears throat> now we discard the armor cool. Planeswalkers don't exist now. Yeah, it doesn't mean you have to stop printing cards that also kill Planeswalkers. Please. Sincerely, people that play against Oko <laughs> regularly. <coughs> Alright, one, two. Oh, it's Nick's Weaver. I'm glad that Nick's Weaver is uh, on Arena. I mean, I probably won't play it, but you know, I'm glad it exists. I know Nick's Weaver and I have a controversial, uh, a tenuous relationship, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. But I think we've sorted out our differences. Are there any French vanilla creatures outside of the Axbane Ferox in um, uh, in the new set? Ooh, I'm gonna keep this sand. God, these cards have so many words on them now. Oof. I mean, I guess Descend kind of counts. Like the Capybara Coconut Doggy. I got a Glock in my Rari. I feel like... Um, I feel like Show and Tell Sarah's Emissary might actually be kind of hot against their deck. It's pretty good against their deck. Well, I mean, again, hey, I stand by what I said. If they have death right into graveyard trespasser, <laughs> then uh, show and tell out Sarah's emissary is also just uh, probably still pretty good. Naming creature against this deck is kind of kind of sick. The topiary panther, oh yeah. Topiary Panther. I like it. I love Graveyard Trespasser. What a cool, cool card. Everybody loves, especially me, Graveyard Trespasser. Oh, I guess Serpent Blade Assailant 
technically from like the past year. Backup Death Toucher, okay. I mean, I could put some vanilla creatures in here too. Colossal Dactyl was a good one. That was a good one. I guess I could have done this before. Sorcery land. All right. Well, mm hmm. Oh, come on. You got like one of those. <laughs> I know this list. You got one of those. Maybe two if you're lucky. Yo, the bear rhino. Yeah, the uh, copper host crusher. Copper Host Crusher is pretty good. I'll keep this. Um, you're a little slow, but I'll keep it. All right, all right. So we lost the Death Rite Shaman to Graveyard Trespasser game. But surely... Oh, it mills you. Oh, this, this card's pretty good. I think I'm killing that. Well, this leech can now pump itself. It's kind of hot. What are some good vanilla creatures? Scryfall Tagger. Because I, I originally wasn't including vanilla creatures. But maybe I should. Wait. There's no Scryfall Tag for vanilla creatures? That can't be right. Oh yeah, I mean Leatherback Baeloth is is the first on my list. Oh, that's a pretty good magic card. Um I think I want to Well I think I wanna just kinda like find oh Oh, I don't... No, I'm getting a treasure token from this. Uh, discard that. <laughs> or... Or I could get an Erberg Lurgoyf. An Erberg Lurgoyf. <laughs> so sick. Oh, I didn't didn't even mill us a dead reanimation targets. Come on. And my Emrakul is not even that much cheaper. No. Oh, it's a one-two. Now you can't attack with your leech. Um. I think I'm still going to show and tell. Okay, that's a pretty good card. Did 
This just makes me want to play. Um, wait, what? Oh, protection from instance. Right. I think it's a an interesting sign when you're playing a deck that just makes you want to play other decks. Is there no vanilla tag? Scry is Scryfall Tagger just like way different from how I remember it being? I thought Tagger, I mean, yeah, I can just do the is vanilla. Um, but I thought I would be able to just like kind of click through and browse, but maybe I'm out of touch. Okay. Let the sun shine upon this Lord of Cinder. <clears throat> okay. I think this deck's bad. I've come to the conclusion that this deck's bad. It just feels so... When, when the package that you have included feels like the worst part of the deck that's probably a bad sign right like it's probably a bad sign that if you cut the reanimation cards out of this and just played good you know grixis or or rakdos cards you would just be so much stronger it's probably a bad sign. I'll I'll still give it I'll, I'll give it one more go. But I mean we're at like what? We we have not won a match, which it's a little worrying. Underscore Mutex, welcome back for the second month. Glad to have you good to see you. And it feels like I'm kinda crumbling. Like not to say that we haven't had games where we've been able to pop off or do something, but it feels like we really struggle with our opponent being uh, disruptive, with our opponent having pressure. Like that's like, and if that's the case, then where do we feel good? Like if we feel as though, if the deck feels as though it struggles under any kind of uh, like presence from its opponent, well then where where are we doing this? What what are, what are we doing? Why are we here? Just to suffer? Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, two, two no landers. I think I'm gonna have to keep this. Oh, we're on the draw. Oh no. Oh, come. Please. Please. I'm begging you. Huh. Well, it was nice of them not to take the consider. Sami so Superstar did say that they got some real dog shit brewed up for me. Oh no. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I am going to... <laughs> I'm, going to I'm going to die to this. Uh, let's go with the Thundering Falls. Ooh, even Arena's slowing down. What? Okay, okay. 
Is there a scryfall is French vanilla? Or if I search is French, is it going to... Uh... White of Precincts. I feel like I want to kill tiny bones, <laughs> which feels really bad, but I'm going to do it. Thank you, flashcard. Uh, all right, uh, let's play Vohar. Hey, this is this is some targeted counter queuing right here. Oh. Well, I'm glad I didn't play the stowaway at least. Uh oh. This is some counter queued bullshit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm, interesting. Oh. The Rager? What is this? What is this? Is this, uh, is this, like, rat scam? Eggs, eggs, Am I getting rat scammed? This waste knot is terrifying. Because now, now I can't really, uh, I can't discard anything without this waste knot popping off. I'm going to have to discard this, uh, this crystal brand at some point in time. I mean, I could just not give them free stuff and just hold. JW, welcome back for the 30th month. Big 30, wish I could make it out to Chicago for the first Magic Con, but I won't be there, so have a root and toot in time, Wheels. Uh, sorry you wouldn't be there. JW, thank you for the kind words. Thank you for all the support. I can't believe that Chicago is next week. That is just, that's just happening next week. Oh no, the brute. Yeah. <clears throat> Kill my stowaway, make this big enough. Yeah, just fuck up everything. <laughs> well... No. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh yeah, we're done. Rex says fantastic jammer removal. Uh... uh yeah. Sh uh, sure. Yeah, what... Uh, yeah. Why not? Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Uh, this hand's actually real. This hand's actually real. Abusing magic. Yeah. How dare. No. We have a way to get stuff in the graveyard. This, if this is the first, you know, I gotta tell you. Let me let me rephrase this. If you had told me before this stream that we would not win a single match <clears throat> with reanimator i would have told you no way there's just no way this deck just there are too many spots where this deck has a free win right surely <laughs> surely that's the case uh, i don't actually hate troll You want to see them peer into the abyss, you, with a waste knot and bowmasters out? Hey, don't concede. I really want to watch you just get smushed by a fucking semi truck. <clears throat> Gladiator's kind of wild now. Yeah, I. Maybe. Uh, full disclosure, maybe I was putting off. Uh, doing a gladiator stream. 
after uh, playing the show and tell deck. <laughs> because I was like, ah, this doesn't, I don't know. Is this really a thing that we should be doing? Hmm. The zealot. Oh, <laughs> getting bogged. Oh, that's rude. Oh. All right, time to time to tempo. Didn't get anything. Mm -hmm. I can't stop building this deck because I am going to be uh, playing on stream. For those that aren't aware, I'm going to be guesting, uh, playing some commander. Uh, on stream in about 30 minutes. Oh, you have a Shieldred. Yeah, I'm fucked. Yep. Yep. This is all my deck does. This is all my deck does. All my deck does. Okay. Uh, actually, hold on. You might no. Don't don't concede. Don't concede. I'll give them two extra life. They might like. I'm going to kill this before combat, but they, you know, or I'm going to kill it now. Um, I think I want to get this. Where's my sacred wolf chat? There it is. There it is. Oh, double, double Blardist? Paul Blardist, Mall Artist? Okay. Uh, well, let's draw some cards. That's a good one. Let's draw another card. Bin that card. I'm gonna kill one of these. We break even. I think I'm done tapping my one ring. <clears throat> hey, playing this deck means anything's possible, you know? Like, you look at this deck and you're like, wow, I too could beat Ben Wheeler. And then you'll soon discover it's not the biggest ask in the world. I don't actually know how I'm going to get out of this unless I find my own Shieldred or find a way, uh, the four mana Shieldred. Oof. That one's pretty good. I think I'm actually just saving some of these cards. Uh, 
I should keep Emrakul as an option. Painted Pact. Getting my own Shieldred. And Lorien Revealed. <clears throat> All right. Decline. 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 <laughs> like, what if instead of the Rhiannon, like, I, you know, if we kept it, it's <clears throat> trying to wear this in a way that isn't just a uh, being a real downer. But it's like, what if we cut these reanimate cards and just played Thoracle? As long as I have some amount of cards in my uh, deck left, I'll be happy. <clears throat> maybe, yeah, maybe Pack should be the one to go. This stinks. Wasn't there an issue with Tainted Pact, like, roping people in 60 card formats? Like you couldn't, what what was it? You couldn't Thoracle kill somebody on turn four because the timer being too low or something like that. This was a while ago, several years, but here we go. Look at that. We got so many cards left in our deck. And I guess I got this right away. Um, probably don't need this Lorian Revealed. Don't have a kill spell. All right, good. All right, good. <clears throat> Reanimation spell sink to the bottom. I mean, now we can Cruelty of Gix uh, back our oh, the other Shieldred. Or we can, I mean, we have options now. We discard the Sauron's Ransom. See, I'm picking up what they're putting down. Dorky, the dorky black creature plan is pretty funny. Mm, let's see. Uh, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 37, 38. <clears throat> You sacrificed a creature. I'm going to decline. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, they fucking drew it. <sighs> oh. <coughs> and I drew it. Uh, I think I have to get back children now. Like this one. I think it's just better. Uh, and I'm gonna. I have 20 cards in my deck. Yeah, I'm gonna tap this. That's a pretty good card to cheat into play if we can do that. Um. 
could have kept this up. Or maybe I should have. I kind of want a Carnosaur their braids. Maybe I should keep it in play. I could fire this off. 13 cards left. Oh, I might need that. I got this Virtue that I can get into play too. Shrinking my shield rid. And you're casting your own. I want to resolve this? No. Dung 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 dung. Uh, I have twelve cards left in my deck. Wow, I have things I can. I have lands I can find. I did not expect that. Holy. It'll push your shield shred. There's just no way. Belly dispute? Oh yeah, that's fine. Oh, you're deadly disputing. I see. Yeah, that's that's also fine. It just breaks even. Uh, let's play Italy. I don't need to loot. <clears throat> God, Italy is being real bad. Like, <laughs> it's being real bad. Uh, <laughs> I guess I want to cast this one. I haven't seen Italy in Canlander Reanimator yet. I don't doubt that it sees play, but it's uh, not the scariest thing in the world. <laughs> oh wait, shit. I literally put these aside for a reason. I'm gonna burglar rats me. Mm. Okay. Oh, I should have activated this Rona. For some reason, I thought you could activate it not as a sorcery. Just whenever, wherever. Uh, no, nah, that's too slow. I'm just going to Carnosaur. Should have Carnosaur pre-combat. What are you going to do? Ooh, assemble the parts. That's what I'm going to do. It shuffles it back in, right? Ooh, yeah. Shuffle back in that shield rip. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Stupid game. <coughs> 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 Yeah, they definitely just built the mono black uh, rat scam or something close to that. One. I get another creature? Wow. The Brood Lord. Uh, sure, we got a wave of babies. Phew. Okay, we managed to survive. Good job, everybody. Good job, team. We didn't fucking die. Still need to find these cards. Heroic intervention. Return of the wilds. Do I keep this hand? Oh, I didn't even look. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. This is great. If I lose this game, then yeah, we just have a, oh. <laughs> if I lose this game, then we just have a nice clean record of, uh, you know, zero and like six. If I win this game, then I prove that Reanimator is a good deck. And everybody's happy and everybody claps and my opponent kept a one lander. <clears throat> You got a village rights? Yeah, you do. Um, how do I feel about sleight of hand here? I think I like sleight of hand here, even though it keeps me off black. I could have demand answers. It's a pretty good card. Expressive EI. Expressive EI. What is that? An ATM machine? Oh. Well, shoot. Uh, I'm going to put the Is a Charm here. Tuck this. Exile this. Surely. Hey, we got to draw a land. We're on like 41 lands in this deck. Something absurd. I mean, if you count the land cyclers. My opponent missed their first land drop and they're, what does this card do? Each player discards a non-land card. Whenever a player discards a card during your turn, they choose another player. That player conjures a duplicate of that card in their hand. Uh, I'm going to discard. I guess Galta. So they get a Galta. And I get a Diabolic Intent? Wait, why do we both get something? Wasn't this card designed in, like, modern times? I do want to kill it, though. I think I want to kill this card. Yeah, I just discard way too much. Uh, thank you for the Diabolic Intent. Do I want to get rid of that, or do I want Fluting? I want Fluting. So I get to play this Malcolm. Which, Diabol Content with Malcolm's kind of hot. Okay. 
<laughs> or we could just discard this Diabol Content to uh, the Malcolm. Or uh, to the to the Elder Fang Disciple. Yeah, sure, why not? You got another one? <clears throat> Gotta imagine Kaido is going to be pretty good in this matchup. This thing's just going to die, right? Yeah. That's a good card. Make a ninja. This hides. The Noel Robin? I mean, I could just ask Noel what's he got on deck for updated... Uh, for an updated list. No. Oh. Darcy. I still think I... Where am I streaming after this? Uh, Chase's stream. I don't know what it is. I think it's Mana Curves. But I need to, like, go very, very shortly. I haven't finished the deck, actually. Yeah, I need to go, like, right now. The Waste Knot. Yeah, I'm going to call it there. I'm dead. It's... <sighs> I don't think Reanimator as a whole sucks, but I do think that this particular build uh, was dog shit. <laughs> But I, yeah, I guess we just got to resign ourselves to saying, hey, it's bad. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I would, ra again, it felt like the reanimator cards were the worst part of this deck. Feels like I would rather just be, if I want to be a deck that cheats out big things, I would rather be on like the Omnitel deck that we played last week or like a Gruul ramp sneak attack style deck. Um, if I really want to be in Reanimator, then I think Rakdos with some of the reanimation cards. Like the Rakdos mid-range that just has like Liliana Cruelty of Gix, that kind of stuff. Because it's just, it, it felt like I was so low on cards constantly, too slow. And then my ult ultimately my presentation was just like a card that was shockingly easy to deal with. And because I didn't have any follow-up, it didn't matter. They could expend resources to do that. So, unfortunate. But you know what? That's okay. We learned. We learned something, chat. Uh, so thanks for watching and tuning in. Uh, I'm going to be over at twitch.tv slash mana curves in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, oh, and uh, I'm not streaming tomorrow because I'm going to be streaming for Lur all day. Also, Tiggs was back for the fifth month. Apologies, I missed you. Uh, if you're still here. Are you here? Please tell me you're here. Uh, yes, you're still here. Uh Five months, question for you, if you were to ask, if someone were to ask you to sign an egg at Chicago, what my egg of choice be? Uh, I like golden egg. Golden egg has become one a lot of people ask me to sign. I really like golden egg. Um, thank you for the support. And uh, Bode Reddy back for the ninth month. It's parasocial baby time. Oh, congrats, babe. You're looking, gl you look glowing. Uh, thank you so much for the support. Glad to have you, good to see you. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Card Kingdom sponsored the channel. Oh, that's not the command. Card Kingdom sponsored the channel. Mana Traders at the channel. Hello Fresh, all that. Help me out. Uh, I gotta go. I don't think Chase is live, so I can't raid and I don't want to like hop into the voice call and dox people. You can't raid streams that are offline anymore, can you? Yeah, you can't do it. Now, not that they're offline. Uh, go over to here. Go hang out in here. You can? It wasn't letting me do it here. Unless I could do this. Oh, 
Oh my god, so you can't do it through the Twitch backend, but I can do it through OBS. That's interesting. Okay, go hang out here, uh, watch some Commander, and we'll... I'll see, I mean, I'll see you in like five minutes. Okay, bye!